What's up? You're not one of those toxic people, right? I was dealing with someone toxic earlier, and I ended up beating the shit out of them. But that was earlier. I just I want to play someone who's not like toxic about the game. Here's the former Utah Ute, Matt Gay, to get this one started. And off we go from Lambeau. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. Jones with a carry on first down, but I don't think he even made it back to the line of scrimmage as the defense all over that one. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing. Now look out, Rodgers. Lost the football. And fortunately, he's able to reel it back in, but it's going to go down as a big loss here on the play. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantling. And they work this well up field across the 45. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. On second down, it's Jones. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Oh, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Complete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Rodgers now, after the sack, he'll lead the pack up on third and long. Now a play fake. Rodgers. He's got a man. Complete. Touchdown. have taken the early lead. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. 
From the end zone, here comes Brandon Powell. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. a yard there and it's second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. When you're a player of his stature, you don't just circle the games on your team's calendar. You sure the Pro Bowl? <laughs> Without a doubt. That's a game that you just figure you're going to be in each and every year. That's because of catches like that. That's why he goes. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Solid effort by Jair Alexander there defensively. He'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. To throw is Stafford. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. This will probably be the last play in the quarter. Stafford going to give to Akers on the draw. And he'll only get this to the 47. He needed a few more yards to pick up the first. 6-0 our score after one. Oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. Here we go on fourth. Stafford yeah, able to find Higby. It's complete. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. Well, they picked up the first down, but I'm just going to say it. I didn't like it before the ball was snapped, <laughs> and I don't like it now that they picked it up. Think about field position on their own side of the 50. They don't get it. They put their defense in a bad spot. And it's just not a decision that pays off very often. Well, it wasn't fourth and a yard. There was there was some meat on that bone. There really was. Fortunate to get it in that situation, but not a call I would make very often. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. Here's a run with Akers on second down. Akers has got the first down and then so. And he gets it all the way down to the three. 51 yards on the ground for him so far. He showed his shiftiness and his explosion to take him all the way down near the goal line. Love that description, and it creates momentum. Maybe you hand it to him again since he's got it going, or do you fake it to him and throw it to a teammate? Right now, the options are wide open. Michelle, and they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Michelle again. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Sony Michelle. Excellent work there to get in on the touchdown run. And the Rams have tied the game with the extra point to come. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And they take the lead here at 7-6. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. 
After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Rodgers now on first down. He hits Adams complete. There he goes, left side. And oh, so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. Now Rodgers. Got a man open. It's Adams. Touchdown, Green Bay. Devontae Adams with his second touchdown here in this first half. And once again, the Packers, they're back out in front. The touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play, got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. So now Rodgers will lead the Packers up to go for two. They're going to try and run. And he will find the end zone here, and the lead moves up to seven. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Powell now to take it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. Now left side on the swing pass. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Stafford. Bearing it out deep for Woods. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. A lot of contact there, but there was no way it appeared that he was going to get a flag on that one. Looking for it, but he wasn't going to get it. And as an ex-defensive back, you love it when they let you play and jostle downfield. On second and ten, Stafford. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Stafford. They'll let it go deep for Beckham. A high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. And that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense, and now they get to turn it back to their offense. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. They snap it to Stafford. And it's going to be batted down and will go the other way with the football. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Packers are going to get the football back in excellent field position. Rodgers now on first down. Looking deep downfield. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And the Rams are going to have it here just past the 25. He's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now, look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that but I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. 
And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. And this is taken in by the tight end, Bryson Hopkins. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Stafford looks to throw again. Here's a diving catch right side. When I played in the yard as a kid, I used to imitate the spectacular catches that I would see on TV. I don't think I ever imitated one quite that well. <laughs> Come on, give yourself some credit. No, I know better. What we just saw there, that was pretty special. On first and ten, Stafford. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Well, they certainly gave it an attempt. They had a diminutive receiver like this running through the land of Giants in the middle of the field. But they couldn't find enough room to get him the football. Throwing again on second and ten. Stafford going up top for Cup. And that ball incomplete. He couldn't work free from his defender, and now it's third down. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Odell Beckham in the final seconds of the first half. And the Rams have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And we are tied here in the second quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Rodgers going to return it from his end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Shot before half for Rodgers. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez Scantling. And all the way down to the 29. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. Powell now to take it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result that he opted for the touchback. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Was it Darius Smith there getting in and bringing him to the ground? Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. 
think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction? I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves them with a fourth down now. So they will go for it. Stafford. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Packers are going to get the football back in excellent field position. They'll try and get the running game going with Jones. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. To throw, it's Rodgers. Got him in. Oh, and it's Adams. Touchdown, Green Bay. Devontae Adams there to make the grab. And the Packers on just two plays have taken the lead. Now Crosby for the point after. And he atones for his miss the first time around as this one is up and good to extend their lead. Touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. On oh, the return is Brandon Powell. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned into six points. So, oh, Dell Beckham Jr. with a diving grab. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Hey, did you have one of those backyards that you had one of those, like, mats or pits like you have for high jumpers? And, you know, you had your friends throw the ball and you tried to make the spectacular catches? I didn't need a mat. <laughs> you, you just did it with the ground? Absolutely. That explains your Concrete. toughness. Concrete. That <laughs> explains your toughness right there because I think that guy was raised just like you. What a catch. Now this throw caught left side. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it, and they do so and pick up a first down. Now a play fake, and it's Stafford. Now the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Zadarius Smith picks up his second sack of the afternoon. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try to gain that yardage back. Well, they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Throwing a Stafford. And here's a diving catch made behind the line of scrimmage. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Now a first down throw, Stafford. Right side complete, that's Woods. 
And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and 11. Off of play action, here's Stafford. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. And the Packers are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by David Long. And they will finally stop him. But a great hey, yes, sir. All the way down to the 16-yard line. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception and set up their offense in great shape. Second down and eight. Back to throw, Stafford. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. And the Rams are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven. But first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple taking it from the five down to the three. Take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Matthew Stafford. A three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. I like what I'm seeing from them here. A tie game in the fourth quarter. They understand the situation. They don't need to be in any rush. Go ahead and huddle up and run your offense. That last completion put them in a nice position to take the lead in this game. Now a throw here to his running back. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter. You and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offense coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll go again to Jones. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the bell three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports.
So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They've got it first and 10 as they search for a go-ahead score. They run with Jones on first down, but he'll struggle here just to get back to the line of scrimmage. No gain. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. On second down, Dillon. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. They give it off here to the tight end. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second, as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to take the lead here in the final minute. And Crosby missed it. No good. Wide to the left for Crosby. And a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. So an empty possession there. What do you think went wrong, Charles? Well, it looked like maybe the plant leg might have given way just a little. And when that happens, guys have a tendency to pull through the ball to compensate. And in doing so, set this one off target. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Stafford. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Stafford. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout. As it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. Here's Johnny Hacker now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. On the return, it's Rodgers. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. About set to get this drive started, the Green Bay offense at the line. They have a little bit of time here to get into field goal range. Not much. In a tie game, you don't want to do anything crazy, right? I agree with you on that one. Risk reward, okay? If you go for it, what is the absolute reward on this? But the risk is probably greater. Run the clock out, get to overtime, and try and win it there. All right, we'll see if they do just that.
Here's second and ten. Now Rodgers. Complete, Valdez Scantling. And he'll have a first down, but a great tackle there keeps him from getting to the boundary. To throw is Rodgers. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by David Long. But we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally, and that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes, and that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those. I can't believe I just won that. That shit literally hit the crossbar. That was so lucky. Holy shit, dude. GG. That was a good game. Holy shit, bro. My heart was beating. I was like, no way I was going to make that shit. No way. That, that shit bounced off the crossbar. I thought that was going out. GG's. I was not going overtime with you, bro. You would have beaten me in overtime. I'm not even going to lie. You too good. Woo! Damn, bro. You good. You would have killed me in overtime. That was a good game. I don't have to save this. That was good. That was pure luck. My kicker has a fucking boot. If I didn't get out of bounds when I picked that ball off, it would have been overtime. You would have beaten my ass. GG's. <clears throat> Can I exit out? What the fuck? There we go. GG's my boy. 24-21. That was pure luck. I'm not even going to lie. If I went to overtime with that dude, he would have killed me. But I was surprised I even made that field goal. He bounced off the crossbar. I was like, oh, there's no way that's going in. Whew, that was pure luck. Oh my god, that was so good. That dude was too good. One second, bro. One second. Ooh.